Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I was just packing up for a little weekend getaway and I thought that it was a perfect time to talk about what I take when I go on a trip as far as skincare because a lot of people have been asking lately about what parts of the skincare routine to bring with when they travel and what parts can be left at home when they travel. The first piece of advice I have is to take your regular skincare with you. One thing you definitely don't want to do is find yourself on a trip with all new and different skincare because you bought the like little minis because they were convenient and easy to fit in your suitcase. Um, except that your skin doesn't react well to them and you're having some kind of reaction or you're breaking out or your skin's irritated and you don't have your tried and trues with you. So always take the things that you know your skin is acclimated to and that shouldn't give you a reaction when you go into a different climate or if you're in a dry airplane. My other piece of advice is to just check your luggage because <laughs> I know some people like to travel light and carry on, but I gotta say, any place that I'm going is generally gonna be like a sunshiny place and my body sunscreen, I can't fit into one of those little travel bags even for a weekend. And so I have to check my bag no matter what just because of my sunscreen that I take. So I'm like, well, if I'm taking my sunscreen, I might as well take the rest of my skincare with me, not all of it. I do pare it down a little bit. And so that's gonna be the main part of today's video is to tell you which things I bring and which things I don't. Because in my regular skincare routine, I probably use 11 or 12 products a day between cleansers to wash my face, and sunscreens to protect my skin and then different treatments for my aging skin and things to moisturize my skin. But that doesn't mean that I wanna haul them all around with me everywhere I go. So I've kind of narrowed it down to kind of a standard skincare routine that I take with me, whether I'm just going away for a weekend up to the Cape or if I'm going to Greece for two weeks. These are both things that are happening this summer, going to the Cape, which is what I'm packing for now. And then I'm also gonna be going to Greece for two weeks. And I feel like I'm gonna be taking the same things for both trips. It's not gonna make any difference because I take my tried and trues and I take the things that are most important to me. So the main things that I focus on bringing with me are my important skincare anti-aging treatments because it's important to me that I continue with them while I'm on my trip because I do want my skin to look its best. I bring my cleansers because I wanna be able to get my makeup off at night. I bring my sunscreens because I wanna protect my skin while I'm on the trip. And I bring some moisturizers and just a couple of serums that I feel help my skin to look its best. So the first thing I always pack when I'm traveling is my Tretinoin. This is my prescription Retin-A. I get my Tretinoin through Agency, and this portion of the video is gonna be sponsored by Agency. I'm an Agency ambassador, and I just love the product. So this is custom prescription skincare that is formulated just for you and your skincare concerns, and then shipped right to your house. You take a couple of pictures of your face, you send it to them, and then they match you up with a skincare provider who then recommends what should be in your custom formula. So you can get one or two different formulas from agency. One is called the future formula. And if your concerns are your basic aging concerns, which are wrinkles, lack of firmness, age spots, redness, then you're gonna get things like tretinoin that is only available by prescription here in the United States. And that's our gold standard ingredient for anti-aging. It'll take care of all of those things over time. And then they'll add in a few different ingredients for whatever your skincare concerns are. So if you have a lot of redness across the bridge of your nose, they'll add in some things for that. If you have super sensitive skin, they'll add in some things for that. If you have dark spots, they'll add in some things for that. So what you get in the formula is a base formula with four active ingredients and they'll be at different percentages. So the percentages in mine are tretinoin at 0.1%, azelaic acid 5%, tranexamic acid at 5% and niacinamide at 4%. And those are four really great anti-aging ingredients. And then you can also choose to get their dark spot formula. If you have really stubborn dark spots that aren't helped by your regular future formula, then you can add on the dark spot formula. And this formula will also have four active ingredients in it. So in your dark spot formula, they'll usually prescribe hydroquinone. And that is the gold standard for dark spot 
reduction. And so mine does contain hydroquinone at 4%. And then this also contains other ingredients that have been proven to help with dark spots and discolorations. So I have kojic acid at 4%, azelaic acid at 5%, and then I have hydrocortisone at 2.5%, which is in there to help with any irritation that you would get from using those two um, prescription actives together, the tretinoin and the hydroquinone. And the really neat thing about agency is that they cycle you on and off of the ingredients in the dark spot formula. You get a shipment every two months, and so these are a two month supply of each to use every single day. But with the dark spot formula, you get two months with the hydroquinone and the hydrocortisone. But then the next time they send a shipment, it won't contain the hydroquinone or the hydrocortisone. It'll contain other dark spot ingredients. So they build that into the formula for you and they just automatically ship you a different formula when it's time for you to be off of it. Now that I've been on Agency in Curology for probably about four years now, and I've been on Tretinoin for a total of 10 years, I have really seen the amazing differences in my skin. It reduces my wrinkles, it reduces my age spots, it helps my skin to be firmer. You know, I'm getting to be closer to 60 now, and I feel like my skin is better now since using Agency in Curology than it was before I started using them. Because when I was just on regular straight tretinoin. I used to get the generic that my dermatologist would prescribe for me. It didn't have any of these added extra ingredients. And so this really goes the extra mile to help my skin look so, so much better because I was having a little bit of irritation and this formula is more soothing. It's more hydrating than just the generic tretinoin because I used to be really super red across the middle of my face. And now since I've switched to this with those calming, soothing ingredients, they really do help my skin to tolerate the tretinoin so much better than the generic that I was getting from my dermatologist. So this has been so much better for me. So if you wanted to give Agency a try, there's a link in the info box below the video and you can try it for your first month free. You just pay the $4.95 for shipping and handling. And I always take my tretinoin with me no matter where I go, whether it's a weekend trip, whether it's a sunshine trip. I just take it with me because I've spent so many years of my life damaging my skin, roasting it in the sun that I'm just not doing that anymore. So even when I'm a, on a sunny trip, you know, I wear a hat, I wear big sunglasses, I slathered up with my sunscreen. I sit in the shade, I sit under an umbrella. I really don't let my face out in the sun anymore. I do pack a separate neck retinoid because I can't use my agency tretinoin prescription on my neck. It's just too sensitive for that. So I use two different over-the-counter retinoids on my neck. One is in a larger bottle, so I leave that one home. I tend to just take the smaller one because it's easier. So I take the Moonlight Retinaldehyde Serum. And so this is and over-the-counter retinoid. It does almost the same things for my skin as the Retin-A does, but it's not as strong. They say it's about 10 times weaker. It has to go through a one-step conversion in your skin, and so that's what makes it weaker, but also less irritating. So since I've never had any irritation with this on my neck, then it's a good one to bring because then I don't have to worry about neck irritation while I'm on the trip. And especially when I'm going on like a sunshine summery trip, I always like to take my vitamin C with me because vitamin C is an antioxidant, and it works synergistically with your sunscreen. It helps your skin to fight the effects of the sun's rays that do get through. So I always take my vitamin C serum with me. This is the one I'm using currently. It's the Timeless 20% Vitamin C plus E plus Berulic Acid Serum. And this is a nice one because it comes in a half ounce. So I like to get this little half ouncer to take with me because it's just smaller than the full one ounce. Since it's an antioxidant, it fights the free radicals that are produced in my skin when it is exposed to the sun, which is not very much, but I do like to have it, you know, with me when I travel to put on. But since I already have two acids that I'm bringing with me on the trip, I then go ahead and leave my third acid at home. I use a lactic acid every day, a 10% lactic acid. I leave that one home when I travel. I'm like, I don't really need to bring three acids. Plus it's in a little glass vial. I like to minimize the number of glass vials that I'm packing and pack things more that are in like plastics and they're lighter weight and they're not gonna break in my toiletry bag. Then I always bring a nice moisturizing serum, a hydrating serum, and for that I bring my Timeless CoQ10. I bring this one because it just has so many great ingredients. It's got coenzyme Q10, which is an antioxidant, and so that's in there. It also has Batrixyl 3000, so that's an anti-aging peptide. It has hyaluronic acid, which is hydrating, and it's really lightweight 
and fluid. It's a great little serum, so I always pack that one with me. And then the last thing I bring for like my real basic skincare is just a moisturizer. Usually I'll use two moisturizers a day. I use a lightweight one in the morning, and then I'll use a more heavyweight moisturizer at night. But I find that when I'm traveling, you know, especially in the summer and it's hot, I don't really need the heavyweight moisturizer. So I'll leave that one at home and I'll just bring one lightweight moisturizer. This is the CeraVe PM lotion. It's also in a plastic container that's pretty small and pretty easy to fit right into my travel bag and this is such a great moisturizer because it packs in so many great ingredients it's got ceramides and niacinamide and glycerin and hyaluronic acid and those are all things that are great for your skin and they just keep my skin so balanced without being heavy I don't feel like it's greasy during the day it's just like the perfect little moisturizer for travel I usually bring along one or two of my holy grail sunscreens depending on my mood they're very lightweight they're very small they're easy to pack so I usually just throw in both because I'm never sure which one I'm going to want but they're very similar because they're both water resistant to 40 minutes they're both hydrating and they both kind of match my skin tone and look nice on my skin so I can wear them whether I'm touristing around a city or if I'm going to the beach I could even wear these because they are 40 minutes water resistant so the first one is my undefined R&R sunscreen this was the winner in my recent sunscreen video this year and this is a beautiful sunscreen it is tinted everything that I bring is tinted so that when I'm wearing sunscreen like at the beach I don't put on makeup and since it's tinted I can just reapply my sunscreen and it helps my skin to look a little bit better my skin tone to look a little even hides my redness and I don't have to put on makeup and then it makes it easier to reapply my sunscreen after a couple of hours. I also bring along my Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. I love this one as well. This one is also hydrating, but it doesn't have any oil in it. So if you have normal skin, you could bring the Elta MD UV Elements. And if you have drier skin and you're only bringing one, I would recommend the r and Undefined Sunscreen. And then the last couple of things that I pack are things to wash my face. And so I always grab these little minis of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. They have these everywhere and I just love them because you can just buy it once and save it and then refill it out of your big tub when you're going on a trip. And this will last me for a two week trip so I always take that along and refill it. This is how I get off my Tenacious sunscreen or any waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara. This will get it right off, so I love to bring that on a trip. And then I just bring my regular facial cleanser. I don't wanna risk buying a mini sample size of a facial cleanser that my face isn't used to, and so I just bring this along. I usually have one that is fairly used up, and so I'll just take the one that has the right amount left in it for the trip. I try to avoid taking a full one just because it adds that much more weight. I usually have one of these in my shower, one by my sink, so I've got a couple to choose from, so I always grab one that's you know down about three quarters, and then I take that with me. But this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost gentle cleanser for sensitive skin, the fragrance-free version. And this is my favorite face wash. And like I said, I don't wanna leave that to chance by buying something out of that mini's bin that is gonna have a reaction with my face or make my skin feel really super dry or super parched because, you know, when you're traveling, your skin does tend to dry out a little bit from hotel rooms with their air conditioning and airplanes with that air that's super dry. So I like things that don't strip my skin, that leave it nice and hydrated. This leaves my skin feeling so comfortable. Between the two of these, then my skin stays nice and hydrated. And then for the gadgets that we all use, you know, the Omnilux mask, the new face, I tend to just leave my gadgets at home. I just don't want to be that much of a slave to my skincare that I bring those kind of things with me. They take up space in my suitcase. It's rare that I'm gonna make the time to use them when I'm on a trip, so I leave the gadgets at home. A lot of people have asked lately or told me lately that they do an on-airplane skincare routine, like if they're doing a long-haul overnight flight. I don't tend to do any in-air skincare. I know it's dry on the plane. I try to moisturize before I go. Um, my experience has been that planes are just full of bacteria <laughs> and um, I don't really want to be in the bathroom too much touching things and then touching my face because when I went to Spain a couple of years ago, I wore my contacts to get on the plane, but I, it was an overnight flight and I knew that I needed to take my contacts out for when I was going to be asleep. So I went into the bathroom, I washed my hands super good, but don't you know, somewhere along the way, I picked up a little bacteria on my finger and when I took my contacts out I gave myself pink eye and so there I was on my Spain trip with pink eye <laughs> believe me 
that was not good. I say leave the skincare until you get there. Try to moisturize before you go. You know, maybe don't wear any makeup. Maybe just wear a tinted sunscreen because when you're on the plane during daylight hours, you're closer to the sun and that UV is coming right through those plane windows if you're sitting near a window. So definitely wear a tinted sunscreen, bring some with you in your carry-on so that you can reapply in the morning when you get off the plane and you're traveling from the airport to wherever your stay is. You're gonna to wanna to reapply a little sunscreen, maybe a stick sunscreen or a powder sunscreen would be great to take along in your handbag so that you can reapply quickly when you land in the morning. That is definitely something that I would recommend. Um, I can link a couple of them in the info box below the video. So that's my best advice for skincare when you're traveling. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.